Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, let me actually finish the complete app and I promise this time it is over for good. So going down, if you guys remember what happened in the last video, we clicked on a flag and we had our dialog which opens up and shows India's flag and a text along with an OK button. You click on OK, it closed. Now this was static because every time it was showing the same flag and the text was also incomplete if you guys remember. What we need here is the flag which was clicked and the name, the text over here which says this flag belongs to say Pakistan or it belongs to say Italy or whatever. So click OK. So how do we do that? Very simple. From our on item click if you guys remember we had our intent that goes to the other dialog or activity. Here we need two things. We need to send additional values. One will be intent dot put extra. If you guys remember how the put extra method works, very simple. You give it a key and you give it the value that you want to store. Now, in the other end, that is in the my dialog, I will use that key and I will retrieve the value. For example, here I can say intent. Intent is get intent. Just be a bit defensive over here by saying if intent not equals to null, then intent dot get string extra. I can use that key which I give in the last place and then retrieve the data out. For example, I will say intent dot put extra. I will say image or say country image and on the second parameter I need the reference or you can say the value of the image for the current item that the user has clicked. The same way I will say intent dot put extra. I will say country name here and the second parameter should include a string value of the country name on the currently clicked item on the grid view by the user. Now that is where the tricky part actually comes in. So let me go to the second part first and resolve my stuff. Here I'm gonna say country. So one of the biggest questions right now is how do I get the current value of the country image ID and the country name at the same time. Now if you guys remember this is very tricky problem over here that we have. So going to the bottom, let me show you something. I made a class country if you guys remember. It had a string country name and it had an int image id. Now these two would combinedly give me the value of the country name and the image id that I'm looking for, right? And then in the dialog, I can actually set the value of the text to be equal to the country name and I can set the id of the image over there to set to be equal to this image id. So let me see how I have stored this inside our get view method. I have done a lot of things. If you guys remember this is the part where I say country temp equals to list dot get i. If you guys remember int i is the position which is 0 for the first item, 1 for the second item and so on. So here in short this temp holds the value to the current country whatever it was including its name and image right. And then this temp was actually stored with the help of this set tag method inside my image view and this image view is contained inside my holder which is nothing but view holder. As I said this is a very very tricky problem. Now the view holder itself is stored here inside the this row object with the help of this set tag method and what is this row object? It is view row which is the second parameter in our case. In other words ultimately this row which you have here is nothing but a reference to this relative layout and using that relative layout I find the image I, image view using the image view I find the tag inside it and then I get the country object from there so that's gonna be a lot of things to do here so going back to our main activity inside our on item click the second parameter contains a reference to the relative layout so I'm going to use this parameter I'm gonna get the tag on it by saying get tag this is gonna give me a view holder now one of the things that you need to take care of is that the view holder class should not be an inner class inside the adapter. So bring it out and then here if you go there is going to be an error saying blah 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 typecasting. Press alt enter perform the typecasting. Problem is view.getTag gives you a java.lang.object and what we want is a view holder so we need to perform the typecasting. Now in this holder I have my image view if you guys remember which is holder.myImageView and this image view itself has another object inside which is my country object 
So I'm gonna say get tag. If you go, guys go down here and you see, I've said holder dot my image view dot set tag. So I'm gonna retrieve that here by saying holder dot my image view dot get tag. Now this is going to give me my country object. I'm gonna say country temp here equals to this. Again, perform the type casting here. And now I have the reference. So I'm gonna say country temp dot image ID as one of the parameters and temp dot country name as the second parameter. So these two parameters have been put in as extras using the put extra method. Now here I just need to go to the other side that is my dialog here and I'm gonna say in content get int extra. Remember the image ID was an integer extra so I'm gonna say get int extra here and I'm also gonna give a default value. The default value is going to be the drawable image of India's flag. So I'm gonna say r dot drawable India's flag for the default value. And this I'm gonna store inside an int called int image ID here. The same way I need to get the country name. So inside my main activity I've set int dot put extra country name temp dot country name. I'm gonna retrieve that here inside my dialog by saying get string extra. And this is going to go inside my string and that's pretty much it. Now there's only one thing that needs to be done. It is to get the reference to these two views that is my image view which will show the flag, this text view, which will show the flag country where it belongs to, right? So I'm gonna go to my my dialog again. I'm gonna say image view, my image, find view by id, r.id, dot my dialog image. Perform the type casting. And now I'm gonna say my image dot set image resource. Now if, as you guys notice, the set image resource is going to set an image based on its integer id. Now I have already retrieved the integer ID inside my image ID which I just created above, right? There you go, int image ID is intent on get int extra. And this image ID which contains my current image is actually go right, going right inside my set image resource. Same way, I'm gonna use the text view, saying text view. Again, I'm gonna say my text dot set text. So this flag belongs to country name. So this country name value actually comes from the other activity which is our main activity right so here you go to our main activity like i said this is a very tricky part of exactly finding the country object it has been embedded deep inside different views inside holders and stuff so let me actually run this and see if this works now so now you see our app is running and if you click on a flag notice that same flag comes inside our dialog it says this flag belongs to philippines click ok dialog closes again click the other flag the flag image ID is passed from the main activity to our my dialog. Same way the text is also passed from the main activity to my dialog using those put extra and get extra methods. So see it's working perfectly. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. In the meantime, if you guys like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.